What's going on everybody? Today we are in Reno. We took the trip out to Nevada last night after work. It took us a while, there was a little bit of traffic. We got in about, I would say, 11.30, checked in. Uh, we had actually a little issue with the hotel room. The room they wanted to put us in was actually dirty, so we had to go back downstairs. And they put us in a clean room. Uh, we have a king-size bedroom. We have lots of space. Uh, the room is a lot nicer. The view is a lot nicer than it was last time. We're gonna get breakfast, and then we're going to go to a Pokemon tournament. Yep, that's right, guys. I'm here in Nevada to play Pokemon. I didn't really come to Nevada to play Pokemon. I just happened to be in Nevada and looked up at the Pokemon events and saw that there was one nearby. So we're gonna play it today. But hella extra avocado toast. <laughs> avocado toast? And then I have the tractor combo. All right, we are done with breakfast, eating at Hash House a Go Go, similar to the Hash House in Vegas. Uh, it's in Harrah's, so we don't really want to walk outside this weekend. It's supposed to be like 50 degrees or something like that. All right, we're in Meadowland Mall in Reno. It's about a 12 minute drive from our hotel in downtown. And we're looking for the game store. Oh, this is it, we're at Games Galore. All right, that wraps up the Pokemon Challenge. I got whomped on. I had to win li literally one match to get third through fourth place. Couldn't win a single match to get some 10 points. So I ended up scrubbing out essentially. And I think partly is because I haven't been playing in such a long time. I haven't been focusing on it. Too much things on my plate right now. But I had a blast, it was $10. And considering the fact that we're in Reno and if I spent three hours in the casino for $10, it would have it would have been way, way more expensive. So I had a blast. My wife and I did check out round one afterwards. We spent 40 bucks, got her some socks. So we had a blast for 40 bucks for about two, three hours. That's good value. Here in Reno, I think $40 will probably get you like 10 minutes of more time. Without fail, we're at Target here in Reno. And hopefully my wife doesn't spend too much money here at Target like she infamously does. She spends over 30, like $25 over the last two days at Target because she's buying, oh, like this, this whiteboard and like a pin board. Why does she need that? I have no clue. All right, we're here in Atlantis. Never been here before. Apparently they have really cheap tables and a uh, pretty cool midway so we're gonna check out the arcade Change the plans. Atlantis was actually a bust. The uh, Midway was just like a mini arcade. It was I hate to say, it, but kind of ghetto. We were going to another casino in Sparks, uh, but before we actually go, I asked my wife if she wanted to check out a kind of like an outlet. It's outdoor, which is probably not the best decision considering the fact that it's freezing right now. All right, this place is nice. It's like a little outdoor outlet. They have like an H and M Express factory. They have like a Nike factory. But where is everyone? The parking lot's packed, and I don't see anybody here. Ah, uh, that's a Ferris wheel in the store. It costs a dollar to ride the Ferris wheel, but it's worth it because we want to ride this. So we rode the Ferris wheel. Unfortunately, we can't record, or actually you're not supposed to bring your cell phones when we go on the Ferris wheel, so we couldn't record. We did get to see everything overview of this facility. It's actually really big. They have like lanes in the back. They have like a bunch of interactive sports sections. This place is just huge. It has like these historical displays like up on the shelves. And they also have this like wilderness mountain that has like animals on it. Uh, this place is just huge. My wife and I are gonna bowl. We're betting a buck. She beat me a dollar with a mini golf, but we paid two dollars to play mini bowling. We got 10 frames. Nice. All right. It's 
Let's go for the spare. What's your lane doing? All right, we bought the 95, and my wife is, is it's still still trying to trying to. I don't know what's going on with her. She's trying to find something to fix it. All right, the wife needs to beat 95 in order to win a dollar. She got 41 right now. She's not even halfway there. She's looking really good. Nice. Very nice. She bowled a dang 95 as well. We tied. She literally last frame, 20 pins behind. She spares it, follows it up with a strike. Got lucky. Right, we're leaving Shields finally. They're closing down, they're turning down the lights. Uh, I was right out of the bat. We, we paid $2 for our Ferris wheel. We nope. paid oh, yeah. Yeah, $1 a piece. We paid $4 to go bowling. Played a miniature golf and I lost a dollar because I bet my wife. I think that was like the most like cheapest fun we've had in like probably a whole hour of our time. It's a, it's a good thing that we came here. All right, now to another target because my wife has to go target, get her target fixed. We had a quick stop to Circus Circus. We had like half hour left. We like, scrambled to like find parking. Like everyone's here right now and we got a bunch of prizes. I think this pork cost like $18 for like two. So like $9 a pork. But we had 600 tickets that we had won from a machine. She got some unicorn ears and I got some shades for my costume next week at BlizzCon. Now we're finally leaving and going back to Harris.